This video is going to talk about repetition in Python. Uh, we're going to continue the same problem that we looked at in pseudocode already and we created a raptor flowchart for. Uh, there are links to those videos in the description of this video. But basically we're going to collect um, some bugs every day for a week and then output uh, the total number collected. The way I'm going to approach this problem is to create it without a loop first. Um, because this might happen to you in the real world. You might be making a program and then realize that it could be more efficient and easier done with a loop. One way to realize that that might be the case is if you have lines of code that are exactly the same or almost exactly the same. And like if you copy and paste. When you copy and paste, you should think, oh, is this a good time for a repetition structure? Or in some cases, it might be a good time to use a module. So I want to make sure I can get this working without a loop first, because it's more fun to have a program that works and uh, modify it and make sure it keeps working than to just do a bunch of stuff and uh, be completely lost. So this is nothing new, just getting regular input, uh, doing a calculation, and then doing output. We are supposed to do for a whole week, but just to exemplify the, the concept, I'll just do three days for now. And run it and make sure that it works. All right, now let's, this is, this is one of the skills with, with making programs that use repetition structures, is to find a way to make it still work with the exact same line over and over and over again. So rather than doing the addition at the end, we need to figure out a way to do the addition every time we get input. All right, then this is just uh, this is just a, a skill that you have to develop, and it's a very common way of doing things with loops is to use um, this variable. And the way we're using it is called an accumulator. All right, total bugs is our accumulator. And you cannot use a variable in Python on the right side of an assignment operation before you've used it once by itself on the left side of an assignment operation. It's kind of like declaring the variable. So we're going to start out with our accumulator set to zero. Again, a common thing to do in, in multiple types of programs that use a repetition structure. All right, now we have it initialized to zero. And you see we've got the almost the exact same thing three times now. So what we want to do is delete these other two instances of those two lines and figure out a way to put those two into a loop. All right, there's a variety of options for creating a loop in Python. The one that's most similar to Raptor is a while loop. All right, any loop that you want can be done with a while loop. Uh, for loops are actually a little bit better, more straightforward for count control loops. When you know it has to happen a certain number of times, a for loop is better, but for now we'll just make this a while loop. And do the same thing we did in Raptor. We're going to initialize a, a variable that we're using to control the number of times the loop iterates, the number of time, times the loop happens. It's called our counter variable. We could use the word count, but in this example, day is a much better name. All right, what are we really doing? We're continuing to collect bugs seven days, although looks like I only did six here. So that's a good uh, reason to put in input that you're going to be able to quickly and easily verify. I had an off by one error, which is also common in repetition programs. So make sure you're doing the uh, less than or less than or equal to properly. And the key thing to remember in Python is that the loop is going to continue while the condition is true. The condition is, is what's after the keyword while. So it's going to happen, those, we're going to keep on going into the indented area and repeating those lines of code while that is true. It's opposite in Raptor. Uh, you go in when the answer is no or, or the condition is false. Here we're going in while the condition is true. And very important, that last line I added, day gets day plus one. You have to have something inside the loop that changes the loop condition, or else you get an infinite loop.